in this uh, video lecture i will discuss about the type 1 and type 2 superconductors how to identify the type 1 and type 2 superconductors what the behavior these two superconductors so that uh, i will explain with the help of two different graphs associated with the type 1 and type 2 respectively so type 1 superconductors here superconductors can be classified into two categories it depends on the behavior of the superconductors under the application of an external magnetic field strength so here i tell you that B is the magnetic flux density and H is the magnetic field intensity. So uh, we have just discussed about the this point. Magnetic field strength is associated with the H letter. B is the magnetic flux. So this is the difference between these two physical quantity and these two physical quantities are associated with each other with this formula b is equal to mu naught and h right so the behavior of the superconductors which are categorized into two parts type 1 and type 2 are based on the application of an external magnetic field intensity the strength of the field so for this intensity of magnetization concept that is uh, required and intensity of magnetization is defined by i i is equal to capital m upon v where v is the volume so magnetization per unit volume is the intensity of magnetization so how to understand magnetization and intensity of magneti magnetization i have discussed all these uh, in earlier video lecture i am just giving the idea of magnetization here so capital m is the magnetization now there are four pictures a b c and d what are the differences you have noticed here where each arrow denote the magnetic dipole moment mu right so in the first case if you see here that there are two vectors which are parallel and others are in random direction here you can see these four vectors are in same direction and rest of the vectors that is correspond to the atomic dipole moment are in random direction in the third one this C picture figure you can see that almost all the magnetic dipole moments are in same direction and at the last into this picture you can see that all the magnetic dipole moments are aligned into a particular direction so now if i ask a question there to you that in which case you see more magnetization the material is more magnetized in case of a or in case of d so obvious the magnetization will be more into the case d so here the magnetic material is more magnetized as compared to the C and as compared to the B and A. So this is the basic idea of magnetization. Now ne the next point after making it clear that what is the type 1 or soft superconductor. Here the, the are two axes uh, we have considered one is for h that is the magnetic field strength and second is the magnetization when you apply the magnetic field strength suppose this is your 
magnetic material or any material right so and now you apply the magnetic field on it i am just uh, making this uh, magnet and uh, this magnetic material is kept in between these two magnetic poles so if suppose i am increasing the magnetic field strength right where this material is kept then what happens so now we have to make clear our case that is type 1 or soft superconductor in case of superconductors when we apply the external magnetic field on it and increase the intensity the behavior of magnet magnetization inside the superconductors you can see like this so this is the critical value of the applied magnetic field intensity at hc what happens you can see when you are increasing the magnetic field intensity simultaneously the inten magnetization intensity is increasing it means all the magnetic dipole moments are going to align and here at this point at this particular point what happens when the external magnetic field value reach up to the critical value then the magnetization abruptly change right it becomes immediately zero so the lower side you observe the superconducting states and beyond this are normal states so you have to see carefully where on h axis here you, this is zero point origin and this is x axis here and on h x axis you have considered the external field uh, magnetic field strength and on y axis you have considered the intensity so here you have noticed that there is no any sharp value of the critical field there are two different values number one hc1 and second is hc2 see here from the origin at o point if you are increasing the intensity of external magnetic field simultaneously you are getting higher value of the magnetization right so it means as you are increasing the intensity of external magnetic field magnetization also increasing but at a certain value of external magnetic field that is known as hc1 a change basically starts here a the magnetization basically starts decreasing exponentially this behavior this is the behavior of magnetization when you are in so on the basis of this you can give the answer of these questions the question number one what happens when magnetic field varies magnetic flux starts to enter in the superconductor at which point this is the second question third question where are pure superconducting states are available the next question is where you thinks that at this point you will get mixed states so these are some basic questions if you understand these explanation of the type 2 superconductors you can give the response of these question conducting states thank you for watching this video if you have any question or any doubt you can just message me below this video and please like and subscribe this channel uh, for more detail you can visit www.apniphysics.com